Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel Ginoli. It's been a bit of a minute since my last vid, but I'm back. I'm still on this journey of balancing football and university. Like, of course, we're not giving up. Like, it's been a mad thing these last couple of months, but we're still out here. Currently out here, match day minus one at training. I'm just gonna give you guys, take you guys along on the journey of match day with me and just be giving you guys an update on how I've been balancing my final year with my football work, a little update on my football situation. And just, yeah, take you guys along with me, match day, non-league and everything. Cool, so in my last video that I posted, I was out in Germany, Berlin, in a trial game for Bohemians versus Union Berlin. Who are that? What? Top five in the Bundesliga right now. But, you know, since then, it's just been a mad thing. Like, it's just been all around the country, different clubs. So if you guys, you know, check that out, released part two, that video series is supposed to be so much longer. Like, I went to their different clubs, you know, up and down, but I wasn't trying to turn this channel into one of those you know, damn football journey channels where I'm just going to different clubs and I wanted to, you know, just focus, focus, make sure my football's pattern and make sure I get to the right, you know, level and everything. So after that match day in Germany versus Union Berlin, like, I went to clubs in the National League, I went to clubs in the Championship, I went to clubs in League One, like, I just went everywhere, just, you know, still pressing on, still searching for that opportunity to, you know, play and go to a club that values me gives me the opportunity to play and develop as a goalkeeper but you know everywhere I was going that like, I was doing well, I was doing my thing but it was either that the clubs already had their goalkeepers or all the clubs were just looking for goalkeepers who were older and more experienced so it's just been it's been a mad thing but something finally gave like I'm right here out here finally after like you know two months of being you know the transfer window closed you know, being non-contracted, just training at different clubs. I finally got opportunity to play at Margate, you know, from me training, opportunity finally arrived for me to play at Margate. So I've just been here playing at Margate for the last month, month and a bit, almost two months now. So, so far I've played like 12 games for them and I've kept like about five clean sheets, been in the Kent Online team of the week, got a couple of man of the matches here and there. So I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm, I'm just currently here, match day minus one at the training ground for Margate. About to, you know, do a little bit outside and in preparation for a big game versus Bill and Ricky tomorrow. And then tomorrow morning, I've got some lectures and work on my disso. So I'm going to give you a bit of insight of how I've been balancing, you know, being at Margate and continue my football with university. So let's get it. Oh, so quick before we go out to training, I'm out here with Corey Henry, our number nine top striker. Yo, I used to be out with at West Ham, but I just wanted to ask you a quick question. question like, so what's it been like that like, your transition from West Ham to the league? Like, how has that affected you and how have you dealt with it? Uh, first and foremost, I'd say it's been a roller coaster, to say the least. I think, obviously, coming from obviously a professional environment, obviously the academy, the majority of my life, um, coming to non-league, it's, it's a big wake up, it's a big shock and you realise kind of nothing's really done for you, you've got to earn it a bit more. Mm. I think at academies, things are kind of given to you and it's kind of like a sweet and kind of a taste to show you what's to come if you make it. Um, but normally it's really, it's really a grind, but one thing about me, I like the grind, you know what I mean? I like a challenge, so it's, it's physical, I like the physical battle and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, I can't complain. That's facts, man. And you used to talk about, you know, doing a university course soon in the future now. Uh, How is that going to work? Uh, to be fair, obviously because I don't really work uh, outside of football, everything I do is like football based. I want to try and implement on um, uh, doing a course, obviously my degree in business finance on the side. Mm. Obviously in the days that I'm not training and I think it's, it's important to get an education. It's something that obviously not a lot of boys kind of see when they're young, naive at an academy, etc. They think, oh, it's strictly football. But the best advice I can give to young players is make sure you have your education alongside that. That's it. Obviously, even after football, you don't know what's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? You need something like a backup plan, something to do afterwards. So, yeah. That's it. 
Hashtag beyond football. That's what that's what this challenge is about. So I'm hearing it from him, you guys you're going out to training and match day tomorrow. 8 p.m. training. Let's get it. <laughs> Because you're a good goalkeeper. Do you make everything just go so smooth, so smooth? I wanted to see if something went that's to see how yeah. that, that's when you could, that's when I can see yeah. what sort of a man you are. If you can deal with it, yeah, yeah. then just fuck it off, it's done, get on with it. Or it kills you for the rest of the game, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. I need, I wanted to see, but obviously you've proven to me right what I thought you would be. Yeah. Strong minded. But you learn more about people yeah. when they make the mistake, how they deal with it. Yeah. The next day. Morning guys, so it's match day. Kickoff is later today at 7.45 p.m. But we're still on this journey of balancing my football with my university degree. So I've got some, you know, lectures to watch back, some uni work to do in the morning before the game later. So I'm in my final year now, so it's gotten even more serious now. Like just been working on my dissertation. I've got exams coming up where I have to actually go to the uni in person. I've got some presentations, some assignments to do. So just gonna give you guys a little insight of how I've been balancing it. So I'm out here on my study table where all the magic happens. And as you can see here, like I've organized all my files and folders for my modules in the same way what I've been doing for the last two years. You know, how I showed you guys in my previous videos, just, you know, organizing it, make sure it's set, helps me stay on top of all my work. So this year I got to choose what I can study in, in psychology and that. So I'm doing health psychology, the psychology of belief, occupational psychology and you know the psychology of addiction. And then as well as that, I'm doing my dissertation, which I'm doing in line with sports psychology and the type of stuff that we do on this channel, you know, beyond football, having an identity beyond football. So research is based on that. As you can see here, this is, I've already started working on it, making some decent progress and that. Here you can see I've done already like 5,000 words. In total, I have to do 8,000 words for my dissertation. So that's what I've just been working on. And here you can see in the files and folders, similar to what I was saying before, like just, you know, laying it out so I can have it all organized and get my assignments done. So I literally just submitted a essay that I had to do on health psychology like a week or so ago which is like a thousand words but my next you know assignment is where I have to present my um, research project to one of the lecturers so here's a little snippet of that but after this like I don't have any deadlines until January exam season where I've got to do you know my exams I've got assignments that I have to do within like 24 hours but you know all in all, like it's been it's been very steady. Like it's definitely possible to you know balance football and the university work. It's just about following those things I said. You know, being disciplined, time management, and being proactive with the work. You know, so now like today, for example, like in the morning, I'm just gonna do some work on my dissertation, some work on my presentation, finalize some of the details on that. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below beyond football. I'm gonna get to work on this stuff and then I'm gonna see you guys later on for match day versus Billericay. Let's get it. Cool, so I'm here at the meetup point for our car school, which is where we basically just, you know, take turns of driving to our games, whether it's home, down to Margate, or away in London. The mandem here. Cool, so we're out here with the mandem on our way to Hartsdown Park. Obviously, got driver oh, man like cam <laughs> he's on me in it next uh, time joking. what are you gonna show for the ball today the oh, yeah, still scored. okay say no more taylor taylor he's trying to hide i don't get involved in this okay cool <laughs> but say no more see you guys at Hearthstone park let's get it uh. boom a cold dark windy night Winter night.
Seven, six, seven games unbeaten. Let's get it, man. Shout out to Lynx GK. These gloves are top. Cool. So it was a tough game versus Billa Ricky. But the lads played well, you know. Defended well against the win in the first half. You know, made some good saves. Stuck in it, to be fair. So, you know, lads done well to keep a clean sheet. That's another day, you know, balancing football and university, you know. Thank God, man. That like, man of the match, clean sheet, seven unbeaten. That's about what six clean sheets with Margate now. So we keep pushing. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment beyond football down below. What you guys are, you know, messing with this content. Like we're still on this journey. We're still pushing. We're still keeping the faith, you know. Despite being released again, we're, you know, making progress now. So we move. We out.